Hi, I'm George with Blackbird Realty in Las Vegas, and today I'm with Kurt Bullock from Bullock Insurance Brokers, who specializes in property managers and insurance that they need. Kirk, thanks for coming. Thank you, George. So what I want you to talk about today is additional insured versus additional interest. It's very confusing for my owners when they try to get their insurance agent to cover me as the property manager. Great question. Both use the word additional in the language. Big difference in coverage. As a property manager, and you manage property for, for others, there's a management agreement, correct, George? Correct. Your owner of that property signs that agreement to indemnify you. Being named as an additional insured on the landlord of the dwelling fire policy will give you the same protection for liability coverage just like the owner of that property would. Very important to have. Uh, you need to get a copy of the policy showing that your company, for example, Blackbird Realty is named as an additional insured. For example, if there was a, maybe a slip, trip and fall, child was injured on the property, there was a lawsuit, and the owner of the property would be named, you would be covered as well as an additional insured. If you weren't named as an additional insured, that owner of the property would have to pay your legal fees according to your management agreement. So additional interest, no coverage, additional insured, full coverage. Exactly. Additional insured, covered. Additional interest, you are not covered. Okay. Thanks, Kurt. I really appreciate you clearing up that question. If you have any additional questions about insurance, additional insurance, or property management, Kirk's phone number is in the footer of the uh, video, as is mine. Thanks for watching.